morning everybody, Aldretti, Aldretti Maintenance Handyman Services, and today we're going to show you how to put in a bathroom ceiling fan. Um, so it's a ventilation fan. This one happens to be right in the shower. This home was built in the very early 1900s, and uh, so there's some going to be some funkiness to it. We're going to work through all that, and we'll show you some of the things that we do to make sure everything is good to go. All right, so uh, come along for the ride. Bathroom, and that is where the old vent went, and we're gonna remove that. The new one uh, is a little bit larger, so we're probably gonna have to cut that hole. Well, we are gonna have to cut that hole, but I'm gonna climb in through the window to the attic space, because the crawl space up there um, so the access, um, for the crawl space up into the attic is very narrow. And so they have a window that's up there, which is right on top of where we want to work. So it's a very easy entry point. Now where we're going to have probably the most difficulty is with removing this switch. Again, because of the age of the house, what they have is the very old wiring, not necessarily knob and tube. It seems to be all on a breaker box. Um, but it, it's the old wiring where it's not color coded, so you gotta figure out which ones are hot, which ones are neutral. And um, worst case scenario is we're gonna be running new wire down the wall into here so that we can have a neutral for the new switch. All new blown in insulation on top of some old insulation. So we've got our mask and that is where we're going now. If you notice, that vent doesn't have a connection. So this may be something that we have to refer out to somebody else with regards to doing the, the roof vent portion of it. We'll go ahead and get that fan replaced. So as you can see, they got a block right here. And that's good news because the joist is about another six inches away from that. So that means we've got some room to make the hole a little bigger. And then that way we can mount the, the new fan with that block there, which is good. Um, we also have a little bit of room to come this way too. So that'll be, that'll be good. And then we just need move some of this stuff out of the way so all right so here's what we're putting in we've got the home networks bluetooth bath fan and speaker in one so uh getting a little high tech here this is actually the first time i've installed one of these so it'll be a fun little Let's see how it works before i go buy one for myself and we've got the old one out so the space is ready and all we need to do is take this guy out of the box wait for the guys blaring their radio to go by the school and uh, put this guy up all right okay so we've got our fan box out they have these uh, quick connects and uh, if you are a follower of The Handyman, um, you'll know from a recent video of his what he thinks of these. Um, I kind of concur with him. I prefer the wire nuts. So I may be cutting these to uh, get that to work. Um, and uh, we'll see how that all works out. Then these are gonna be our connections to go into the speaker part and the light. And we've got our brackets here for mounting it up in the ceiling.
Okay, so uh, wasn't able to show you all this because it was getting been running a little late on this project. Took a little longer than expected, but uh, we were able to run the neutral wire down, get it all hooked up, and we've got the fan working, the light working. So now we're just gonna sh um, shut the power off and button this all up, and. Uh, We'll see you on the other side. All right, well, we are done installing that bathroom fan. And uh, as you can see, it was a little dusty. Um, I'm just trying to get it out in traffic here and trying not to scrape the heck out of this very steep uh, driveway it's all in the joys of the, some of these older places let's see oh I made it all right all right so now we're on our way so we finished up the bathroom ceiling fan and it was a big success was able to get through it unfortunately I wasn't able to uh, video everything I was hoping to um, some of the things that uh, we ran into, again, because this was a knob and tube um, electrical system, we had to um, feed a new um, neutral wire down so that it, the switch would work for this uh, particular ceiling fan. This, the ceiling fan needs a neutral on it um, for it to operate. Um, so we we're able to to feed some um, new Romex down the uh, the wall cavity there. Um, they actually just had a um, whole house fan installed, and so I was able to follow that feed. Um, again, this house was built in the early 1900s, and um, so there's no fire blocking, which is code these days, um, but. What that means is there's nothing that's going to block the wire from being uh, ran down the wall. And so I was able to, to chase it down the wall and then pull it through the existing box. Um, so that that made things uh, a lot easier. And uh, hooked it all up. Everything was working. Um, it's a Bluetooth connection fan. And so I was able to... Connect so I was able to connect my phone to the uh, Bluetooth and test that out. Um, operation of the fan worked perfectly and uh, buttoned it all up. And uh, so the, the one part that I wanted to show you more about um, was actually cutting the hole. We had to enlarge the hole a little bit. And uh, again, being an older house, it wasn't drywall, it was laid in plaster. Um, and it was uh, it had a metal mesh on on it so what i ended up using instead of using my um, rigid multi-tool with a metal wood blade on it um, i decided to cut some time and i actually used my angle grinder with a diamond wheel on it um, so i marked out my lines and cut right through it and um, was done cutting it in about four minutes tops I think um, so it was that was good um, I think uh, all right so um, the other thing that I wanted to talk to you about was the uh, push connects the or the quick connects um, like I said uh, I may or may not I was going to either use them or not use them and I tried using them um, but just wasn't getting a solid connection so I ended up cutting those off and using the good old-fashioned wire nuts to uh, make the connection and voila everything had power motor ran it was uh, a glorious thing so um, yeah still not sold on the push connects sometimes they're nice sometimes they can speed up things that um, I find, especially if you're going solid wire to solid wire, um, the fan mortar itself had uh, um, the strand wire, and so just wasn't connecting well. 
um, but the wire nuts tighten down. Um, the trick is to get them so that when you twist them, the wires start wrapping around each other and twisting. Um, but you got to be careful, like I said uh, earlier, with those the old wire. I've had them just snap on me because uh, it's old and brittle. Um, so didn't have that problem today and uh, was thankful for that. And uh, I'll put some pictures up, uh, some still pictures along with this video. Um, so this is me in the future telling you about what you might see in the past uh, or have seen in the past. And uh, we'll uh, see you for the next project. Please make sure you like the video. Um, again, give me some, if you have any ideas of uh, what we can show, uh, we're always open for that. And uh, we will see you on the channel and in the comments. Please like and uh, submit some comments. Tell me what you think. Thank you. Aldretti, Aldretti Maintenance Handyman Services.